There are so many incredible businesses, entrepreneurs, and community influencers in San Diego, and today we're gonna to be chatting with a few of them, starting with my friend Zabi Sahel. He is the founder of Creative House Design. What's going on, Zabi? What's up, Chris? How are you? I was gonna say, are we gonna hug, <laughs> yeah, hug it out? Don't leave me yet. <laughs> we gotta hug we're it out. We're just getting started. Oh, let's go, let's go. It's gonna be a great day, I'm excited. I like the flamingos. You like the flamingos? Uh, yeah, they're a vibe. I'm, I'm already ready for summer. Uh, I'm already ready for summer. I know, and we're so <laughs> spoiled here, but I'm ready for summer too. Cheers, <laughs> yeah, thanks cheers for being here. Thank you, thank drink you. Drink our little mule. <laughs> do you like the drink, by the way? I do, I didn't get the kind that you got, though. What kind did you get? I got the Mexican mule with Don Julio Neo. Okay, so does it, is it Mexican because there's tequila in it? It's, yes, that's actually a great point. Can't get anything past <laughs> me, <Tommy. laughs> It's gonna be a nice interview, guys, I'm excited. <laughs> so, uh, every time somebody comes on the show, I always ask them to share a fun fact about themselves, something that people may not already know about you. Uh, a fun fact about myself, um, I, I think I posted it yesterday on Facebook. I have like a severe addiction to frozen yogurt. Do you? Like it's bad. Like, like I like I'm full and I still crave frozen yogurt. Okay. And it's uh it's yeah, it's not it's not good. Do we think we need to like stage an intervention? <laughs> I, or I possibly think I'm getting to that place where yeah, it's bad. I, I think about it all the time and it's not good. He thinks about so it all the time. Uh, so if you ever want to buy Zabi a gift, <laughs> yeah. gift cards of frozen yogurt. Yogurt. That's, but no, I need to get away from it. Take him to frozen <laughs> yogurt on a date. The way to Zabi's heart. Frozen this is yogurt. ridiculous. All right, Okay, this is great. We're off to a great start. Fun fact of the day. Uh, but Zabi, on a more serious note, you have a really fascinating story. You've been through a lot. You have an interesting story, and I'd love if you could just tell us a little bit about your background and ultimately what led you to start Creative House Design. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, my, my, my story is interesting for sure. Uh, even sometimes whenever I say it, I don't even believe it's me. Just the way it's happened, everything, the way everything has happened. Um, so I got my kickstart in like entrepreneurship at a super young age. Um, I, I remember as young as like fourth grade, I was buying candy and flipping it in school for a quarter a piece for a lollipop. So, yeah. you know, I got that started at a young age and I remember my fifth grade teacher always telling me this. Um, and I never knew what it meant until later in life. She was the first person that's ever told me this. I've heard it later down, later on in life. But she said that, Zabi, you have the gift of gab. And I never knew what that meant. You yeah. know, I was like a, I was a fifth grader in ESL class. Like I didn't know any better. Yeah. And so, as you know, life happens. I noticed that. Wow, I, I have, and you can use it for two purposes, um, good or bad. And I've used to use it for what I've used it for, and um, can be very happy and blessed to say that Creative House is in a very amazing place. But it's not just with what we've done, it's what the real estate community has allowed us to do, uh, which we're very grateful for. So what make you? What made you take the plunge, and where did you see, like, hey, I'm onto something here, like this is a business? So um, there was a, about, I wanna say, I wanna say about, Almost, almost eight years ago, uh, I had owned a couple of Metro PCS stores. Uh, I was uh, initially my like sales background came from uh, the uh, wireless communications industry. So I was a part of Sprint. I was a part of uh, Singular before they turned into AT and T. Yes. All these things. So, anyways, at the time, I owned a Sprint store in downtown, and one of my really good friends at the time had a staging company, um, and. He, the idea was when I started that store, I'm gonna go in there, I'm gonna duplicate this model, and I'm gonna rinse and repeat, and just open up multiple stores. Yeah. Well, that didn't happen. Um, I ended up getting stuck in my store, and I was literally working my store open and close every day, and I couldn't afford to hire it, like an employee like it was the payroll was just it was I was eating into the savings yeah. every single week yeah. so eventually got to a point to where my buddy at the time owned a staging company he was really small time at the time and he would see that I'd struggle he'd come hang out after he was done with his jobs and he said hey you should just come move stuff with me and I'll pay you a hundred bucks yeah. I was like cool so I literally worked open to close would close up the shop, go work with him, move furniture, move furniture make $100 that day, go back to the store, and use that to pay my employees payroll. And that was like a revolving cycle for a year. Oh my gosh. Um, in the process of it, but I have zero design background. Like zero, never went to school for it, nothing. But in the process of that, I noticed, I noticed that there was a big upside that wasn't 
being tapped into in the staging business. So uh, we became partners. Um, we had a you know successful run for the time that it lasted, and eventually uh, we parted ways. And um, now you know, fast forward to failed staging companies later. Uh, here I am today with Creative House Design, which I think what really brought us to a place that makes sense is that we've captured media, marketing, um, and, and, and Taylor that fitted that with the staging to create an all-inclusive package. Absolutely, because you guys, if you live in San Diego, and especially if you're in real estate, you know who Zabi is. You know Creative House Design. He's all over social media, and you are. You're offering above and beyond what a typical staging company offers, so unpack that for us. So uh, we have um, our, what we, Grew, what we blew up off of was our um, all our all inclusive package. It was a full turkey service. Essentially, the package is uh, $2,500 under 2,500 square feet. Uh, it covers you for the staging, the areas that were staged in that package was your living room, your dining room, your kitchen, your master bedroom, uh, two bathrooms, and then art and accessories in all the areas that are staged. Okay. We also, with that package, included all of their professional photography, all of their MLS resize photos, all of their aerial drone shots, their video production, a full property cleaning, and then we also run a just listed campaign on Facebook and capture them buyer's leads um, through wow. an ad campaign. Okay, yeah. so you just rattled off like five different sectors that would typically be run by five different businesses, exactly. five different people and that are not communicating exactly. with one another, right? Exactly. So you brought it all in-house. All in-house. So I let all my clients know that if there is an issue, which, you know, it's business, there has been times where there has been issues, mm -hmm. but we've done our absolute best to resolve them and make sure the client's happy in the yeah. process. But the, I, the beauty is that I am not you know, I'm not, I'm not taking your money and then hiring a third party company, hoping and trusting in their abilities to give me a product that I can bring back to you and be proud of. No, you're hiring me and I own the entire process. So every portion of the company I own, so I have full control of the quality control of the final product, uh, which allows me to give the client a experience unlike any other because it's also the peace of mind of, I don't have to worry about scheduling, I don't have to worry about moving dates around. No, you call me, you contact me, and if there's an issue, you don't email a certain department. You contact me, I take care of it. Right, I love that so much. So you actually have a lot of exciting things in the works that we should probably address as well. What do you want to start with first? Wow, um, so the first thing I want to start with uh, is this wicked, crazy idea that me and uh, my best friend slash business partners had last year. And we said that we want to put together an event. Uh, we want to do a huge event. We want to put together an event and we want this to be the beginning of multiple different events in multiple different cities. Okay. Uh, San Diego being the first place that we wanted to launch this event because it's our home base. We've built a, I, I, I'd like to say amongst me and my partners, a very trusted and respected um, uh, following amongst the real estate community Definitely. and everything within it. Um, so. Uh, we had this idea and we were looking at some of the people that inspired us at that time of who we wanted to get to their level, uh, whether in production, whether in, um, in credibility, whether in clout, whether in just, just we, we wanted to be in that same conversation, that same uh, echelon. Uh, Seth O'Byrne was one of those people. So fast forward, here we are a year later, we're actually putting together this amazing event called uh, Vision 2020. Uh, and it's a real estate marketing event that's put together by people that actually are practitioners of what we're gonna go on stage they and speak about. They live it, they breathe it, they've and, experienced yeah, and, it. And we're in proof that yeah. it, we have, it's worked. So uh, it's uh, Vision 2020. Um, the website is now live, you can get tickets online. It's 2020 Vision Events, San Diego, 2020 Vision Events .com. Uh, But um, as far as our speaker lineup, we have Gabe, we have Seth o Burns, we have Koku, who is uh, has about 80,000 followers on Instagram. He's a Navy SEAL, so he brings in a different sector and okay. the idea of how to market on a different uh, to a different audience. Sure. Which, in the end of the day, it's all you know ties into one, uh, and a few other great speakers as well. So that's that. And then um, we're actually uh, we're in the midst of launching CreativeHouseListings.com. And what is that, Zabi? So, uh, as you know, uh, there's Creative House Design. Um, I've my my vision, my goal when I created this was I wanted to become the apple of my industry. Um, I actually started Creative House Design in prison. So 
I think everyone that doesn't know me now knows. Now you know. Uh, but that's why a lot of people know me because I'm very transparent about it all. So I started Creative House Design in prison and um, before I had the vision of Creative House Design in prison, um, prior to that, during that same time that I was doing, um, I, I actually picked up Steve Jobs' book, mm -hmm. um, his biography, his last biography that was written before he died. Um, and I, I was so impressed by it. I was already a, a fan of Apple. I have always been a user of Apple, but I was so impressed by his way of thinking and how he created how the iPhone came about. I mean, the iPhone came essentially from iTunes and then from iTunes came the iPad and the iPad. Everything was always all inclusive into one, the iCloud. If you have an Apple product, what do you have? You have an iMac, you have an iWatch, right. you have an i... So it's all inclusive. It's an ecosystem. And I wanted really. to create an ecosystem mm -hmm. for Creative House Design, right? Um, but I didn't know that at that time. Yeah. And so now fast forward, um, we created, uh, we wanted to take our product that we already have and make it better. Yeah. Um, and so we created creativehouselistings.com. And so what creativehouselistings.com is right now in its you know, birth stages, right? What it is right now is essentially a website to where when you go on there, you as a client can go ahead and do two, one of two things. Number one, you can view the type of property profile site that you want designated for your listing. Okay. We created four um, in-house property profile sites. These are not, uh, you know, sites off of Wix or your, yeah, you know, your own. Yeah, it's we. These are actually made in-house by us. We have four standards that we made, okay. and client contacts us if they want photos or videos done, or even if they want the staging done. Mm -hmm. We'll go in there. We'll have a property profile site created, branded specifically to the client. So that's where they go to choose what they want. They have all the examples on there. I love that. On the flip side, the long-term goal is that we want to house all of our properties on that site. Okay. And with all the client contact info that we collect, we want to send out emails directly to those clients, letting them know firsthand before the property hits the MLS that this Creative House exclusive stage property is going to hit the market. Mm -hmm. So here's some info on it before it even hits the MLS. You're in the know. It's all about being the first to know. Did you know that the show is called The Know? Did I know? Oh! Or did I just do that? I mean, now you know. <laughs> See that? See that? So that's the long-term play. I love it. Uh, don't be surprised if uh, Creative House, and I know Zillow is a bad word in the real estate industry, <laughs> yeah. but uh, ideally creating it as a marketing platform. And so a digital marketing platform yeah. for real estate. And that's just the beginning. I mean, I look, I have crazy ideas for Creative House Lending, uh, Creative House Escrow. I mean, we're, you name it, we're going to do it. Super smart. Creative House Realty, it's going to happen. Yeah. Uh, this has been a long-term play and I'm excited about it. Well, this is super And it's exciting. on camera, so I'm documenting all of this. You guys can say I yes, failed if I didn't do it. I'll hold him to it. Yeah. Uh, this is really exciting. So yeah. it's it's been exciting to watch you grow. I've known you for a few years already. It's, yeah, it's been great. Yeah. yeah seen you too. This is amazing. Um, I want to ask you this one last question. Right. For anybody out there who feels stuck or just doesn't know what's next, right. uh, needs a little push, what's like a golden nugget or piece of advice you can uh, give them? You know, uh, the, the reality is, is that, uh, and it had I had to settle into it to actually, you know, understand it, is that things have to happen to you because if it doesn't happen to you, then you, you don't learn. And what you learn through are what's called lessons, right? Things have to happen to you. So you have to go through what you're going through to know what it's gonna feel like to have what you wanna have, right? Because if you're winning all the time, you'll never respect it or understand it because you've never lost, exactly. right? But what's, why is winning so incredible? Because everyone's taste of defeat. That's why winning is so incredible. Whether, you know, it's on the actual scoreboard or if it's prior to that, you know, gaining to that point. So yeah. my, 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 my answer to that, you know, question is you gotta, and as simple as it sounds, you gotta just do it. Yeah. You gotta get up and just do it. Um, <laughs> I remember watching, I remember going through a slump and I was just not waking up early anymore. I, I, I don't know what was wrong with me. I set my alarm clock. I wouldn't wake up. I wanted to wake up and I pressed snooze and I just felt like my day was getting wasted all the time. I watched a, a video on YouTube right before. It was like a motivational thing. And a lady was talking about how do you get up early? How do you get up all the time? Like, how do you get up? She's like, because I just do it. Like, when the alarm rings, I get up. I don't even think. I get up. I set my intentions mm. to get up. I try that and I've never looked back since. Really? So get just up, do it. just do it. Get up, set your intentions, yeah. and whenever you hear the alarm, 
get up. Yeah, just have that expectation for yourself. Yeah. Be disciplined and know that all these things that are happening to you are really happening for you. For your growth, you, right? exactly, absolutely. Well, Zabi, this has been an amazing conversation. It's been so good. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. It was amazing to see you. Uh, Zabi Sahil, he is the owner of Creative House Design and all these other amazing Creative House <laughs> things coming at you as well as the 2020 Vision coming up next month. 2020 Monday. Vision event. You can go and find us online at 2020visionevents.com. Tickets are now available for sale. And uh, I know I'll see you and Cody there. We'll so. be there. Are you down to eat some pizza? I am. I heard this place is great Yeah, stick with us. We got a little tasting coming. All right, cool. We'll see you soon.